Hello dear friends, welcome back again to another video from my YouTube channel. Dear friends, in our previous video, we discussed about the development and the structure of dicot embryo which is developed in the dicot seed. Now, in this video, we are going to understand about the development of monocot embryo and the detailed structure of the mature monocot embryo in this particular video. Now, the development of embryo begins with the zygote. Suppose this is a zygotic cell. This is a zygotic cell. And this zygotic cell is the result of syngamy. It is the result of fertilization. Now, this is zygote. Zygote get developed inside the ovule. Ovule has got two poles, two ends. This is supposed to be the chalazal end of the ovule. And this is the micropylar end. And this zygote, it is deployed. It is deployed. We know why it is deployed. We discussed that in the previous videos. Now, this deployed zygote, it undergoes transfers. Transfers mitosis. Initially, the development process of both dicot and monocot embryo seems to be very similar. Here, the dicot embryo also undergone the uh, mitosis, which is transfers. In the same way, the monocot zygote, it is also undergoing a transfers mitosis and results into the formation of two cells. Two cells are formed. These two cells, they are deployed. These two cells are deployed. The cell which is towards the chalazal end, it is called as a terminal cell. Terminal cell. And the cell which is towards this base, that is towards the micropylar end, it is called as basal cell. Basal cell. The cell which is developed towards the chalazal end is a terminal cell. And the cell which is developed towards the micropylar end of the ovule, it is called as basal cell. Now, in future, the terminal cell divides. The terminal cell divides. Terminal cell divides by transfers mitosis. Transfers mitosis. Let us draw this cell with a different color so that we can differentiate what will be the fate, what will be the future of terminal cell and what will be the future of the basal cell. The terminal cell undergoes the transverse mitotic division. As a result of that, here we'll get the two cells formed. The two cells are formed. These two cells are the daughter cells of the terminal cell. That means they are performing the mitosis. They are the results of mitosis. That means definitely they are dicot. Whereas the basal cell, Terminal cell undergoes the mitotic division and results into the formation of two cells. Whereas this daughter cell, which is that I have drawn with the black color, this daughter cell will not divide. Daughter cell never divides. Sorry, basal cell, not daughter cell, basal cell. Basal cell will not divide. Will not divide. But it grow in size. It increases in its mass. It grows in its size. As a result of that, we'll get a large cell at the base. This is the basal cell. This is the basal cell which has grown larger due to the cellular increase. Now, this is... Let us label, it is the basal cell. 
it is the basal cell and the cell which is at the top now it is referred as terminal cell it is called as terminal cell whereas the cell which is in the center the cell which is in the middle the cell which is in the between the terminal cell and the basal cell this cell i'm talking about let us draw this cell with a different color red color here this cell which is in between the terminal cell and the basal cell it is called as central cell central cell now three cells are formed why three cells are formed because the terminal cell divides by mitosis and results into the formation of two cells whereas the basal cell it is not going to divide it is just increasing in its size it is just increasing in its mass that is why it has become enlarged it has become swollen we'll get a basal cell totally we have three cells this terminal cell this terminal cell in future it forms the cotyledons cotyledons in future it forms the cotyledons how it forms the cotyledons by mitosis mitosis repeated mitotic divisions occur in this terminal cell many series of mitosis occurs in the terminal cell as a result of that the cotyledon cotyledon not cotyledons we are discussing about the monocot embryo we have only the single cotyledon here here the cotyledon get developed from the terminal cell whereas central cell it is also undergoing a series series of mitosis and results into the formation of components components of embryo that means this central cell produces the parts of the embryo various parts of the embryo they get developed by the central cell whereas cotyledons get developed by the terminal cell and this basal cell it again grows increases in its size it never divides never divides only increases in its size only size is going to increase in the basal cell whereas the central cell produces the various components various parts of the embryo and the terminal cell results into the formation of cotyledons here we have the three we have three things we have the basal cell as it is components of the embryo and cotyledons what are the components of the embryo we'll understand by the end of this video my dear friends three things are formed the basal cell the large basal cell the large basal cell is formed then we have the components of the embryo the components of the embryo the components of the embryo get developed like this and this component of the embryo it get developed by the central cell this is the embryo this is embryo this is the basal cell now the what is the fate of terminal cell terminal cell produces the cotyledon and cotyledon get developed get developed by the terminal cell this is cotyledon this is cotyledon cotyledon get developed by the terminal cell whereas embryo get developed by the central cell and basal cell it remain as it is attached to these two components as the embryo mature as the embryo grows and all these three structures they arrange in a particular structure they arrange in a particular manner and this results into the formation of mature embryo this is the diagram of mature monocot embryo 
mature monocot embryo get developed from these three components in future in this mature monocot embryo we have two very important structures one is a plimule another one is a radical plimule give rise to the shoot system in the plant shoot get developed by the plimule of the embryo whereas radical is at the base from the radical the root system get developed here the shoot system get developed shoot system get developed by the plimule of the embryo whereas radical of the embryo it give rise to the root system these plimules and the embryo both are very very delicate this is the plimule part this is the plimule from this the shoot get developed after the germination of the seed from this the shoot get developed and this is the radical from this the root get developed the underground part of the part underground part of the plant get developed from the radical of the embryo these two structures plimule and the radical they are very very soft they are very very delicate hence they need an additional protective layer they need a additional sheath they need a additional covering that covering is coleoptile coleoptile it is a sheath to protect to protect coleoptile is protecting plimule or radical coleoptile is protecting the plimule of the embryo it is a sheath to protect plimule of embryo plimule of the embryo coleoptile means it is a protective sheath that protects the plimule of the embryo whereas coleoriza 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 it is a sheath to protect to protect radical radical of the embryo embryo future root get protected by the coleoriza future shoot get protected by the coleoptile now as the name itself giving the meaning monocot embryo that means here we have only one cotyledon whereas in the dicot we have two cotyledons monocot embryo it has got only one cotyledon this entire structure is the cotyledon my dear friends this cotyledon this entire structure is the cotyledon that cotyledon it is commonly called as a scutellum scutellum means it is a cotyledon in monocots monocots example grasses grasses are monocots the single cotyledon which is present in the monocot embryo it is called as scutellum the shoot the plimule is the system that give rise to the shoot system in future radical is a group of tissue, group of cells that give rise to the root system in future to protect the plimule we have coleoptile as a protective layer to protect the radical we have coleoriza as a protective layer now this epiblast 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 is actually a rudimentary cotyledon rudimentary means under developed cotyledon it is a rudimentary rudimentary cotyledon you may ask the question sir why the cotyledon is rudimentary in a monocot mono means how many only one that means here we should have only one cotyledon this is the cotyledon that we have only one cotyledon here we have epiblast it is under developed under developed or rudimentary cotyledon if suppose we have two cotyledons then definitely it is considered to be the dicot embryo here we are studying the monocot embryo hence we should have only one cotyledon this cotyledon is not completely developed cotyledon 
it is underdeveloped cotyledon hence it is called as rudimentary cotyledon present in present in monocot embryo monocot embryo what is epiblast it is a underdeveloped cotyledon present in the monocot embryo what is coleoptile it is a protective sheath that covers the plumule of the embryo in the monocots what is coleorhiza coleorhiza is a protective layer that covers or that protects the radical of the embryo in the monocot embryo what is a scutellum scutellum is a single cotyledon present in the monocot particularly in the grasses it is called as scutellum they are the major parts of the monocot embryo i hope it is very simple concept the diagram is very very important for five marks in your annual examination my dear friends hence make sure that you are perfect in this diagram and all the labelings and sometimes the definition may ask what is coleoptile what is coleorhiza what is epiblast and what is scutellum like that also for one mark the question may appear in your competitive exams as well as in the board examination i hope you people understood the entire concept the development process as well as the detailed structure of the monocot embryo in our next video we are going to understand how the seed get developed from the ovule of the embryo and after that we are going to understand how the entire ovule get converted into the fruit Till then, stay home, stay safe. Thank you so much.